from day one they're getting precision microbes getting up to 30, 30 mil a day there Brilliant. so yeah and then after five five days a week coming into the group pens then as well okay and then they're continuing getting the precision microbes through the through the additional pump on the field so, yeah well. on the field Brilliant. then as well Brilliant. yeah yeah oh, yeah excellent. it's going well excellent patrick thanks for having us up oh, on well the farm that. here today um you might just give us a bit of a, a background into yourself and yeah. what's happening on the farm and, and what kind of system you're operating yeah, here. No problem. Uh, he's a welcome man, yeah. Uh, my name is Patrick Dunn from uh, here in County Meads. We are running for the Mead Potato Company or Mead Farm Group. We uh, currently have 120 Fleck Bay cows milking two robots, uh, two lady robots. And we're using the old product now on the Lady Calf feeder. Okay. So this is our second second calving season using it. Yeah. <coughs> so and where did you where did you come across the precision mic? Uh, true, 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 true veterinary practice. Uh O'Dowd's veterinary. Okay, yeah, so yeah, 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 the advisors come forward we should be using it like in popular products like so. Okay. Using the same, yeah, good good results with down there so far. And this is your second year on it? Yeah, so we we split calving, so half of the herd calves in the autumn block and then half in spring, so Use it there on the autumn block with calves. Okay. Seen, seen good, good thrive and good growth with yeah. the calves. No any, issues. Yeah. Uh, in terms of, like, obviously your second year now using it, but mm. where, where, what kind of maybe physical things would you have seen as a benefit of? Yeah, using just, just probably better gut health with cattle, better overall thrive, where like bits of problem with coccidiosis and stuff like that, and just bits of scour and that. Now seems to seem to. You know, we can dry, dry everything up there now. You covered a bit yeah, quicker. Yeah, yeah, covered a bit quicker. Yeah, okay. same, same overall, far, far healthier and content now. The calves, right. so yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. And and the calves then on the farm are, are they used as replacements or do you beef yeah. them or what's the yeah? Kind of so there? last season we beefed beef a lot of bulls and then we keep probably the best ten or so for stock bulls for sale. Right. And then keep all um, replacement heifers then put them in calves. So probably have surplus of heifer calves now coming on this year. So they'll be for sale then. Or, in calf heifers either. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. And what kind of um like they're a, they're a nice shapely animal to flex fee or, or yeah, in yeah, terms of beef, you know, those ones that you beef would they come into good grains Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Kill, kind of kill their uh, all three three equals so that yeah, so right. like they fleshed up well they have yeah. to run feed they're on full time indoor feeding for eighty days and they'll kill number two year old so yeah, so so we're pretty pretty happy yeah. with that sort of yeah. yeah. And you were telling me earlier on that the milk yield on the on the on the on the fleck are fairly good. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're so happy with them. yeah, so last season was only our second year milking second lactation and average seven and a half thousand litres cross board and we're all grazing them as well for okay. for most part of the year as well. So happy enough with that now. So hopefully hopefully a bit better now next year as well or this yeah. year. Brilliant. So, yeah. Brilliant. I know what you said. No. There, there are credits, there are credits no. We had sucklers and then we um had beef then as well, okay. so when we were going milking, we like to lock the flex was then a bit better, a bit bit more what we're used to looking at. So yeah, they even look at calf calf value and cull cow value as well, all yeah. all help like with that Brilliant. decision. So yeah. Brilliant. yeah. Brilliant. And you're on a, an automatic calf feeder, is this new to this Yeah, year this is our third third season right there okay. now. Um there's a new shed that's obviously in now last two calving seasons. But um, yeah, the calves I brought him, they old into individual calf crates. Right. And they're there for a few days. And from day one, they're getting precision microbes, getting up to 30, 30 mil a day there. Brilliant. So yeah, and then after five five days to a week, coming into the group pens then as well. Okay. And then they're continuing getting the precision microbes through the through the additional pump. On the field. So, yeah, well. on the field then as well. Oh, yeah, great. yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, Excellent. going well. Excellent. Good stuff. Well, listen, look, thanks a million for having us yeah, up today. Yeah, pleasure. No uh, problem. Listen, thanks, thanks for sharing your yeah, story. Yeah, no problem. And continued success. Cheers. Thanks a million. Okay. Good luck.